recent court decision on Bill C-92, which was another big win for Indigenous rights. Bill C-92 reaffirms Inuit, First Nations, and Métis rights to make decisions regarding their own children, youth, and families. This includes culturally relevant child care services in their own languages. For these reasons, I urge parliamentarians to support the passage of this bill. Questions and comments? Uh, Kestion Kamaltar, uh, the Honourable Member for Saanich Gulf Islands. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I want to thank my honorable colleague from Nunavut for her excellent speech, as always. I find it very inspiring, Mr. Speaker, and I asked my honorable colleague if she'd like to share with the House again her intergenerational lens on the uh, appalling and genocidal residential school system is to find webs of intergenerational love and caring. I, I find that inspiring, and I wonder if I've gotten it at all close to the mark, if she would be willing to share that again. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Honorable Member for Nunavut. And I thank the member for her important question. Uh, I'm reminded by my conversations that I had with my constituents, uh, Bernadette Dean and Annie Curley, uh, who were the ones that reminded me that it's so important that as we continue to talk about intergenerational trauma, that we need to start shifting that focus to having discussions about intergenerational love. Mm. And this bill is one of those opportunities to make sure that we are passing on intergenerational love from parents to children and child care to children. Here, here. Uh, Kamal Tara. Questions and comments?